Welcome back to CBS News Detroit at 4. A rising star in Metro Detroit and from Ypsilanti is looking to make a difference. Kid J has been making waves in the entertainment industry and he's just getting started. He is. He's already open for top acts like T.I. and Jermaine Dupri and he's even got more goals to accomplish and he's going to make sure he gets to all of them. This award-winning artist joins us now live to talk more about his dreams for the future. Kid J, thank you for being here with us. Thank you for having me. So something that you're very adamant about is you want a positive message in your music. Why is that so important to you? Yeah, because um, I feel like it's, it's better to preach to the youth because, you know, we have uh, kids growing up, growing up in bad environments and stuff. So um, I feel like it's better to teach them that there's better ways to, you know, do things. So especially kids that um, grow up around music. Mm -hmm. So um, that's basically what I try to preach through my movement is that, um, you know, there's, there's just better ways of going into music uh, as far as like, you don't have to be like everybody else. You don't have to conform. Right, exactly. Yeah. So, um, you know, there's the stereotype of the music that, that you hear on the radio nowadays is like everything's blurred out and stuff, you know, with with my music, because I don't swear on my music, with my music you can play with with your uh, family, you can you can play it at parties, you know, you can actually enjoy it. You know, that's what that's what makes my my uh, stuff that I create different. Okay. So yeah. And parents have to be so relieved that you are around. Um, I know you recently won a stellar award mm -hmm. with the Detroit Youth Choir. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that and just what you have in the works, your journey so far. Okay. Um, first of all, I like to say working with the Detroit Youth Choir, them kids are so Amazing. talented. Man. <laughs> yes. Even when they hum together, it's like the perfect harmony, let me tell you. Um, so as far as work, working with them, that was probably the best collab that I've ever had. Um, and as far as like how like the the journey goes, um, me and my dad started this back back when I was about 15. We we stuck uh, we started to do small showcases, and then that's when I won a radio contest uh, to perform with Jermaine Dupri at the Fox Theater mm. in front of 5,000 people. That was the most people that I've ever performed in front of back then, and that led me to my opportunities of being on um, you know a national national uh, perf uh, competitive show with other artists, and um, that went great and. Yeah, the journey has pretty much been amazing. Yeah, yeah, you're doing big things. Thank and you. also, you've been doing some work with the Steve Harvey Foundation. Yeah, yeah. What's um, that been like? Oh, man. It's been great. Um, see, it's, it's kind of crazy, you know, because I grew up on Steve Harvey, <laughs> you know, Family Feud, and Steve Harvey Show. So when he, you know, reached out to me and flew me out last year to talk to, um, he flew me, flew me out to talk to young men that don't have fathers. And you know, I have a father, so I had to do research and talk to my friends that didn't have fathers. And um, I basically went out there and you know told them that they can, they can, they can do anything. They can hit me in my DM if they want to talk about anything, rely on me. You know, I told them about my speech impediment because I have a bad stutter, um, stuttering problem. And you know, they they loved every word that I had to say. You mentioned your father. When yep. they take you from that camera over there, you can actually see them over your shoulder. Oh, man. <laughs> um, I also want to bring up mentorship. So mentorship is very important for, to you. I don't, I don't know how you even find the time, but talk about that yeah, a little um, bit. So I have a lot of people who look at me as a huge role model, and um, they want me to mentor their kids. And I'm willing to mentor anybody, by the way, <laughs> just, just, just in. And um, I'm willing to mentor anybody because I want to be that um, mentor for somebody when I didn't have it growing up, you know, um, somebody to look up to. That's what I want to be for the younger youth. And lastly, you say you have a dream to start a school for autistic children. What's yep. the vision for that? Oh, man. So I, so I want to start a school for autistic children because I have a little brother, 10 years old, who's on the spectrum. His name is Karis. I call him my big guy. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and um, I want to start an all autistic high school um, named after my deceased grandmother. And the reason I want to do that is because um, growing up for my stuttering, I got bullied for it. And um, I want him to be able to go to school with kids that are just like him um, to where he doesn't have to worry about the bullying. He can just worry about going to school and, you know, just being him. So, yeah. And that's something. And now those bullies are watching you on CBS News Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> Kid Jay, I can't even begin to tell you how intriguing this was for me. Um, 
you know, it's a genre that I think some people stereotype parents, you know, trying to debate what to expose their kids to. Yeah. And you are just providing another option yeah. and such an inspiration from it, Solani, for all of Metro Thank Detroit. You so much. <laughs> and I and it. this was just fascinating. Yeah, you, yeah. you don't really sometimes realize there's a need until you meet someone Absolutely. like you fulfilling that. You're doing need. a great job. We're so proud of you. I know your parents are proud as well. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you. All right.